Welcome back, friends. We're again at Weldon Boat Ramp, Weldon, North Carolina. And today we're looking at the 2022 harvest season for striped bass on the Roanoke River. Careful, this will be a chit show. Don't fall right back down in the water. I'll be trying to show off. Definitely. Wow. Now I'm coming back in. One if they got their limit for the day. One fish per day. One fish per person. Striper of a certain size. This the last day. The last day. Got one coming down, a Triton with a Yamaha on the back. Most of these boats coming out here, I noticed they got rust water. They don't wash their boat, um, wax them or nothing. Carolina, it's just and they just sit on a trailer. I let the boat get so dirty. I'm North Carolina, North Carolina. We don't wash boats down here. Yeah. <laughs> That's a look, look, there's some coming up here. For real. Look at the bottom of that boat. Oh, brackish water. I'll turn it brown. I ain't got time to be washing and waxing no boat, man. I'm down here hunting and fishing. Planting my potatoes. That's right. I keep my truck clean, but I ain't messing with no boat. Just put some gas on that thing, some oil, and I'm on my way. In addition, friends, the daily krill limit or the daily fish limit has changed to one striper bass per day. The minimum length is 18 inches and no striped bass between 22 inches and 27 inches may be possessed at any time. Plus the hook can have a little catch on it. The hook got the, the barb, can't have a barb on it. You fishermen know what I'm, I'm talking about. So the hook got to be kind of smooth in case you catch it and it ain't the right size you can put it back into the water uh, without harming the fish. The 2020 a stock assessment of striped bass in the Roanoke River Albemarle Sound indicated that the stock was overfished and therefore we only down to one fish per person this year in 2022. Again the Roanoke River management area includes Roanoke River and tributaries from the Roanoke Rapids Lake Dam downstream to Albemarle Sound. Despite the season reduction, the striped bass harvest exceeded accordingly 12,804 pound harvest quota. That was in 2021. The payback means a further reduction of the 2022 quota to 6,578 pounds. In only four days this year, the harvest was legal, four days in North Carolina. Before it was two weeks. And early in the year they had said two weeks, but then they changed it a month before April 
down to uh, two days. I mean four days. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget Free subscription. To subscribe. It's free. No problem. Thanks for watching. Come back and see you next time.